What's up, Honda fans? I'm Honda Laura, and today we're doing a review on the 2016 Honda Civic Coupe Touring in Energy Green. Seacong for letting us take out the Touring Civic today. In my opinion, I think this is the coolest Honda on the market today. The arc tail light and that energy green paint, what else could you get that was cooler? Let's take a look at the exterior features. Being the Touring trim level, this car has a lot going on. Starting off at the front end, first thing you notice obviously is going to be the energy green paint, which is factory. The grill, chrome, spanning the width, LEDs everywhere. Headlights are LEDs. There's actually LED turn signal indicators in the headlights, LED daytime running lights, and fog lights. Moving along the side, 17-inch alloy wheels with the glossy black inserts, my favorite. There's chrome all around the windows and on the mirrors. The mirrors are body colored, they're heated, they have uh, turn signal indicators, and the lane watch, which is a camera mounted on the right-hand side, which gives you a view of your blind spot. I use mine every day, I think it's invaluable. Down a little bit further, you are going to have chrome door pulls with the smart entry system and remote engine start. Can't beat that. Moonroof as well. Moving down along the back side, first thing you notice here, arched taillight. It's awesome. It's like the coolest thing. It looks just like the concept that they released earlier in the year. There's also LED brake lights and touring badge. Now let's take a look under the hood. Under the hood of the 2016 Honda Civic Coupe is a 1.5 liter four cylinder direct fuel injection Earth Dreams engine, which produces 174 horsepower. Has a CVT transmission, which yields 31 city, 41 highway in a combined of 35 miles per gallon. Which is not bad. The outside might be flashy and eye-catching, but there's so much more inside. Let's take a look at the interior features. Behind the wheel of the 2016 Honda Civic Coupe Touring trim level. So, so comfortable back here. It is leather. So the energy green has this gray leather interior with like black accents. It's the coolest thing. I love it. I love being behind the wheel of a Civic. I think it's super cozy, spacious, visible, very comfortable. The positioning of the steering wheel, the sight line of the display audio system, the high res infotainment, the high res gauge cluster. I think everything in here is very well designed. The things on the touring trim level that I like best are going to be the high res gauge cluster. It is super dynamic. It has a lot of accessibility right from the steering wheel, right up front. And you can see all kinds of different things, turbo meter, turn by turn directions, music commands, phone commands. It's really awesome. Redesigned steering wheel with these really cool clear buttons and the touch sensitive volume control on the side. Also, Honda Sensing is in standard on the touring package. So you get adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, lane departure warning, road mitigation, really, really awesome, beneficial things. The display audio system is also one of my favorite things. I think Honda did a really good job designing it. You get the uh, car, Apple CarPlay or Android Audio and XM Radio. You can do playback, you can do sports flash, so it'll tell you when your favorite teams have any sort of updates, it's really cool. Honda Link is also a really beneficial thing. I think it's cool. It's an app that you can download right to your phone. It gives you a little bit more connectivity with the car as far as maintenance, any recalls, in-car tech support, roadside assistance, which you get two years or 24,000 miles with any new Honda. Also with the display audio system, you are going to get the navigation. It's a Garmin-based system. It's standard with the touring trim level. It's really updated this year. Super awesome. Very easy to use with the voice commands as well. Also, backup camera, standard on all Honda models, and the lane watch, which is that camera mounted on the side, pops up right on the screen here. I use mine every day, like I said. It's invaluable. It's something that gives Honda a real edge. Moving down a little bit farther is going to be dual climate controls. They are automatic 
really, really cool. Um, they do have this button where you have to access a little bit more of it, so it is kind of an extra step. I think it's kind of not really necessary, but you know, a good design. Down a little bit lower, you have a lot of storage compartments, pass-throughs and clips to clip any of your charging cables, stuff like that. New electronic parking brake and the brake hold system, and they move the econ button from the left side to the right side. I think that's a really good idea. Also, the center console on the Civics is one of my favorite things. It is enormous. Enormous. You can fit a lot of different things in here. I'd say large jar of pickles, um, a bag full of brass clippings, two kale shakes, and a few stalks of celery. Definitely. Now let's take a look at the back seats. I'm in the back seat. It's pretty spacious, as always. I don't really prefer the back seat. I don't really prefer a coupe. I hate getting in. This one's actually pretty easy. The seat folds forward and reclines, so you can get in and out pretty easily. There's a cup holders and a little bit of storage space. It's spacious and bright, so you can. it's really visible. So you don't feel too closed in. I could ride back here, I wouldn't mind. Let's check out the trunk space. With the smart entry system, there's a keyless entry on the trunk, which is super cool. And there's passengers. So if you do have longer items, you know, can recline the seats, put it in. So, you know, you don't have to worry about, oh, because I have a coupe or because I have a Civic, I can't do anything because there's literally enough room in there for like skis skis or like, you know, if you're moving or like long things, snowboard, whatever. There's a ton of space in there. It's um, about 12 cubic feet of space. So, I mean, can't complain. So that was our exterior and interior. Now let's go see how many heads we can turn and drive out on the road. I really, really love this car. I love driving it. I think it's super comfortable. I really like the engine. I think it's cool, you know? The turbocharged has a lot of pickup. has really good acceleration. It's comfortable. I think the Civics are just a great design. I think it really is the coolest car on the lot right now. I honestly consider trading in my CRV. I got it for the all wheel drive. I consider putting aside the all wheel drive needs for the tech options that you can get in these new Civic that aren't available on the CRV. Maybe in 2017 they will catch up a little bit and have all these things, but still you won't get the styling that the Civic has. And that was our review for the 2016 Honda Civic Coupe Touring in Energy Green. With an MSRP of 26,125, I think that's a steal. You get a fully loaded car, navigation, an awesome engine, turbocharged, 174 horsepower, amazing pickup, Honda lasts forever. What else could you want? Thank you to Herb Tamers Honda of Seacon for letting us take out the Civic today. Hi, buddy! Hi, buddy! Don't forget to like our video, leave us a comment. I'm Honda Laura, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> I love him.